Peter Bayless here, cardiologist. Great to be with you. And I'm here with my trusted heart model just to go through a very common symptom that I am asked to provide advice on, and that is palpitations. The sense of your heart fluttering, racing, skipping beats, missing beats, extra beats can be very nerve wracking when we're experiencing these symptoms. I want to give you an easy to understand concept of what's happening in our heart when these palpitations are occurring. So palpitations are a very common symptom. They are seen in any and all age groups. And a common symptom is that the heart is noticed. The heartbeat, which normally happens in the background, 60, 70, 80 beats per minute is the normal heart rate, starts causing an awareness of our heart beating, thumping, racing. It could be extra beats in the heart, particularly when we're resting, we're sleeping, we're in bed trying to get to sleep, and we're feeling our heart and a vibration of a pounding feeling. Or sometimes we might get a sense that our heart is skipping beats and missing beats, and that, that's quite unnerving, that, oh, is my heart going to stop? And that obviously causes a lot of concern and worry. In the majority of these cases, palpitations are often benign, and there's not too much that needs to be done, apart from some basic tests that your doctor will arrange, and also then some reassurance. But I wanted to give you a little concept of what's happening with these palpitations, just something that my patients find very, very useful when they come into the office, and I show them a heart model like this, and I explain to them, well, this is what's actually occurring, and that Purely that information and that understanding gives them the sense of relief and better empowerment with their condition. So if we go to the heart model here, the heart essentially is composed of four chambers. We've got the right atrium here, goes into the right ventricle, and then we've got the, the left atrium up here that goes down into the left ventricle. So these four chambers are essentially opening and pushing the blood out and then relaxing to allow blood to come in. And there's a very specific circuit of where blood's coming from. The blood's coming in from our veins, from top of our head down from our legs, all the way up into what we call the right atrium of our heart. And then blood gets injected into the right ventricle. And from there, it goes into the lungs to get oxygen and full oxygenation and then is delivered to the left atrium and then is pumped out of our heart from from the left ventricle into the aorta and that's this chamber up here as you can see here this is the aorta that takes all the blood and is pumped all the way up to our brain to our arms to our legs all the way down so we want to explain what these palpitations are now an understanding of palpitations really benefits from an understanding of what's happening with our heartbeat itself and how our heart actually contracts. And I like to say that there are four main components to our heart. One is the heart muscle itself. The second are the arteries around the heart. The third are the valves inside our heart that open and close. And then the fourth is a very intricate network of cables and fibers. And this is the wiring of our heart, the electrical signals of our heart and impulses that make our heart beat, contract, you know, 60, 70, 80 times per minute. And that's a very, very complex network of cables that are causing electricity to travel through the heart muscle. But I want to give you a very simplistic understanding of what is going on. Now, the power station of our heart, I tell my patients, is something called the sinus node. And the sinus node initiates the electrical impulses and that spreads down to other chambers of our heart. Now, the sinus node sits in the top part of the heart here around the atrium. And if we think about it here, it starts beating from a point here. And from there, pulses travel through some cables down into a little subsection down here called the AV node or the atrioventricular node. And then from there, pulses travel via a, a complex cable system on the left side 
and then the right side. So there are some Ys on, on the left side, and those Ys here on this part here are called the left bundle. And then on the right side, there are there is the right bundle. So essentially, electricity travels from the sinus node up in the top, travels down the AV node, and the top parts contract, and the bottom parts contract when electricity travels down into the bundle fibers. So as it's a sinus node here, the power station up here travels down to a little substation down here somewhere that's called the AV node. And then from there, the electricity travels down the left bundle and the right bundle. So we get boom, 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 boom. That's exactly what our heart does. Now, when we have these palpitations, these palpitations are often described as sites or electrical signals that are firing off in our heart from various other sources. And this is very, very complex. So I'm gonna simplify this for you. And the palpitations can arise from various circuits and various rhythm disturbances. One of the more common being something called atrial fibrillation or AF you might have heard of. But essentially when these extra fibers and signals are firing off, then they can cause these palpitations and we feel something isn't right. So what's happening in the heart is that our normal heartbeat from here, boom, 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 is often not felt. But when you start getting ectopic beats, you get your normal boom, 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 but then you get an extra one coming from somewhere else. Boom, 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 boom. And those extra beats can come from the top parts of the heart up here, called the atria or the supraventricular region, or these extra beats can arise from these the ventricular areas here. So if you get a ventricular ectopic, you get boom, 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 boom. And you can get a series of these extra beats, or you might get the isolated beat, we call an ectopic. The ectopic means an extra beat arising from a different site. So one of the common causes is atrial fibrillation. And atrial fibrillation essentially means that rather than the heart beating from a point up here and down here from the sinus node, you're getting these extra beats coming around from these areas here in the top parts of the heart, the atria. That's a very, very simplistic way of seeing things, but these extra beats or ectopic beats can be felt when we're resting, when we're trying to get to sleep. And then what happens, think about this missed beat, because that's a common symptom that I have patients coming to see me. Oh, Peter, I'm feeling that these beats are occurring, but then I'm missing beats and there's a lack of heartbeat. So what's happening there is think about this, that the master signals up in the top here in the sinus node essentially is the master of the, the whole electrical system is keeping a very close eye on what's going on with our heart. And when that senses an extra beat coming from another site down here or down here, it sometimes can actually just have a little pause momentarily and just to say, well, what's going on around here? What, what, what other extra beats are occurring? Let's just take stock of what's going on. And that pause or that uh, delay can give you a sense of, oh, I'm actually missing beats. I'm skipping beats. My heart is stopping momentarily. And then you might get an extra beat later that is a more intense and thumping beat. So again, it's all about the sinus node, which is where our normal heart contraction starts from. And that's a site around here in the atrium up on top here. And then electricity travels down to a substation here called the AV node. And from the AV node, you get the left bundle of down here and then the right bundle. And you would have heard of things like left bundle branch block and right bundle branch block. Well, that's signifying that the wiring is not functioning properly on either of those bundle or cables of fibers. And uh, there are many causes of that. And we'll have some separate videos on those. So ectopic beats, extra beats can be supraventricular or ventricular, can be felt like multiple extra beats where the heart is racing, going fast, or commonly that your heart is actually skipping beats and missing beats. Just to hopefully you've had a bit of an understanding there of what's happening in our heart when this is happening. You're getting extra activity from other sites of, of the 
the, the power station, the sinus node and the AV node, and that can give us these extra symptoms. And there are a series of simple tests your doctor can do to confirm that everything structurally is working well with your heart. So they might organize an ECG, a tracing of your heart rhythm and rate. They'll probably do an ultrasound of your heart and to look at the heart muscle itself and how that's contracting. And also then a more simple monitor is something called a 24 hour halter monitor, where we assess the, the beats of the heart over 24 hours. And we often look for, well, are there other signals where your heart is actually beating from that need some further attention? And then depending on what the findings are there, then you might have longer term monitors, 30 day monitors, you might need stress tests, or there might be other scans like MRI scans your doctor might arrange. But most often, these extra beats or ectopic beats are a very common cause of palpitations, most often benign, not going to cause you any significant concern. Keeping yourself well hydrated is important. Minimizing caffeine if you're sensitive to caffeine, proper sleep, proper rest, you know, the simple things that we talk about, which are very, very important to manage this. Magnesium supplementation can be useful. Uh, and we'll have a separate video on the use of magnesium in this case, but sometimes people do find taking some magnesium supplement before they go to bed can actually help settle a lot of these extra little beats down. And often they come and they go very, very promptly, but always have a chat with your healthcare professional. Hopefully you have a better understanding. Until the next video, bye for now.